Clinton Jones here, and for this tutorial what we're going to be doing is learning how to add trace arounds to our war films. So the first thing you want to do is take our footage and drag it into this area here to make a new composition. So let's take a look at our footage here. We have our actor, the uh, camera pans around, and as he's running up, trace arounds are going to be coming over this very protective uh, wall of shrubbery here. So uh, they'll be flying overhead. We'll add some camera shake, color correction, and talk about the various ways to do this effect. Um, you know, there's a lot of ways to do it, but I'll, just be, I'll be showing you how to do one and just briefly describing the other ways. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is come up here and make a new solid. Set it to you know color similar to this. What I did is I just brought the slider down to the yellow. You know, I had it here and I just slid it over towards the white. So once you got that, you can either make a mask, you know, and make kind of like a tracer shape. Or what I did was I just uh, brought these down like this. And then just brought this side in to form like a tracer shape. What we'll do is we will <coughs> select our solid. And we will go, you know, we'll click this button here and select the 3D box here. So we'll make this layer 3D. Now what we'll do is we're going to animate it, you know, from here flying overhead. So let's rotate it in the right direction. We can use this tool up here, the rotation tool, and rotate on the Y, and then some on the Z. Just like that, maybe a little more on the Y. So this is actually in 3D being stretched out. So we will hit P to bring up the position for this layer. And let's move it back on the X. Just bring it back here. Bring it down some. And make a keyframe. Go forward maybe three frames. Let's go. Let's go four frames. If you hit the uh, page down button, then uh, you can just skim through the frames here, which is very handy. I use it all the time. And let's bring that flying overhead like this. And you see how um, it's kind of off here. Let's rotate it back just to match up with this line here. On the z-axis. So when this thing's flying across, you know, it's going in the right direction. It's not traveling, you know, all lopsided and whatnot. So let's um, make this visible at this point in time. So select the layer, hit um, Alt, hold Alt and hit uh, left bracket and that will start it here. Let's go four frames, you know, to where it ends, and then just do the same thing, hold Alt, and just do the close bracket. So, you know, this doesn't look too great. Looks pretty pretty terrible. Um, let's spice this up a bit. Let's go to, um, let's do a Gaussian Blur. Throw it on there. And let's bump that up pretty high. Let's do like 500. Maybe like 600. We'll do 600. Now, with this, you know, you can, you know, this is one of the other ways of doing this. You can do a motion blur. Let's see. No, wrong one. It's called directional blur here. So we'll use directional blur and we'll get the angle right. You know, we'll just eye it and we'll bring this up to like 600. See? But that way, like this edge here is too sharp. So we can do a Gaussian blur as well on top of that. Maybe like 300. So it kind of makes it just like a long streak, but 
you know, not you know, not too blurry on the as uh, as for the X and Y, but for the Z, it needs to be pretty blurry because it's going really fast. Now you can toggle motion blur on and off, but it might be too long, you know, or too faint. Uh, what we'll do is we will let's fix this problem here. Looks like it's going through him. You don't want that. So you know what you can do is take the tracer footage, hit Control D, and we'll just make a mask around him. You know it doesn't have to be really good. And then hit M, and let's animate this. Once again, I'm using the page down button to pass through these frames here. And bring this mask up to the top. Title it Mask Tracer Footage. So let's, let's select our mask. We'll hit F for feather and click this button here so we can actually see what we're doing. And let's feather this. And let's preview it. Nice. Now, it looks really, you know, it doesn't look, it looks okay. Let's, um, let's make the color better. Let's make it look more realistic. So let's duplicate it. Well, before we duplicate it, you know, hit the toggle switches button and let's set it to add. That way you see it just got, you know, it's a little more, there's a glow in the middle here. And let's duplicate it by holding Control D. And there, you see, it's really, you know, there's a big glow to it. So let's check this out. Very cool. Now it's a little big over here. Um, what we can do is just bring the scaling down. Uh, hit S and just on the on the Y we can scale it down some. Or undo that. Make sure you're not linked, so you can just get the Y. Set it to like point, I don't know, point five or something. Or you can even anim you can keyframe it if you want. So when it gets to about you know here, it's a back to where it was one point five. So it looks like it's kind of getting bigger, bigger as it, you know, comes over here, so, as it gets closer to the camera. So, now, what we'll do is we will duplicate this a couple times, you know, just make it, you know, come from, like, random spots, maybe one over here. Now, when you move it, you see, it's going to be, like, traveling in this direction, but just forward, so you need to rotate that on the Z. Alright, so as we scrub by, let's make this mask, uh, animate this mask some more. So we'll do, we'll just move it. You know, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as this is blocked. So that's good. So let's, you know, duplicate it. What I'm just going to pause it and duplicate it maybe like five or six more times. And what I did was just have them fly past. You know, you saw those. These ones, um, just change the direction. You know, make them fly right by the camera. Because they're 3D, so you can make them do that. You know, you got those. There's one. Probably would hit the cameraman there. And then you have like three coming over here. So, just vary, you know, the direction vary the speed. Now, for these, you really don't have to motion track them, just because they're going so fast. Now, I mean, if you wanted to, you could. But, uh, another way of doing these are, you know, you can go into Photoshop, and you can just draw a straight line, you know, with a soft brush or something, and you can save the pictures out. Um, 
and just put them away in a folder so when you want these trace arounds you could just import those pictures make them 3d and go instead of having to like make a new layer I mean it doesn't take that much to make a new layer in a new solid but kinda like uh, just have like some stock footage in hand of some trace arounds so you know we have these flying over and right here we might want to do a little camera shake so what you could do is let's see let's make our footage 3d and then let's hit P for position and let's type in um, slider control and let's grab that and put it on the footage now we will hit P once again bring up the position we'll alt click this and for that we'll type in wiggle uh, parentheses and we'll type like 8 comma and we'll pick whip this to the slider here and then we'll close parentheses click off and what you can do is you know well let's, let's actually go to where we want maybe right about here so hit the slider go forward a couple frames right about here is when we will boost it up oh we have this mask here we'll get rid of that in a second so yeah, we boosted it up. Let's go forward some more frames. Just to when these um, rounds stop going over. And we'll go to the footage. Let's hit U. And that brings up all of our keyframes. Let's just make another keyframe. And then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I guess 8. Set it to 0. So this way, instead of using the wiggler, you can use it like this, and you can control it, you know, a lot better. You have a lot more precision with this. Let's set these to, like, 30, just because it, that's a lot of camera shake. 30. Let's get, um, motion tile. Throw that on the footage. Um, output width, 120. I'll put height 120, let's do mirror edges, um, and that will get rid of our problems here. That'll get rid of this black. And we will turn on motion blur for this layer. And let's see, well, oh yeah, we have to fix our mask. Let's just end our mask here. And let's see what this looks like. It looks nice. It's pretty awesome. So let's uh let's color correct this really quick. Um, we'll go layer, new adjustment layer. Let's do color balance. Throw that guy on there. And this is one of my favorite um, color correction techniques. I'll set the blue balance, shadow blue, to like 30. Um, let's set our midtone green to 15, and our highlight blue. We'll make it negative. 50 and that's going to make it yellow and check preserve preserve luminosity and it looks really cool let's uh throw a tint in here bring it yeah bring it down here set it to like 50 looks pretty awesome um and let's do let's make another um adjustment layer and we'll go levels we'll throw that on there We'll bring this slider up to darken it, and then we'll select the ellipse tool and double click it, and it'll you know, do it for you. Set it to subtract, and let's feather this out once again. Click this to get rid of this, and you know, feather that out to about there. Hit T to bring up the opacity, set it to like maybe 80, and uh, now once you add you know, some sound effects, um, you can really sell this effect. It might get a little too dark in here. You can just uh, vary the opacity, animate it if you want. But yeah, um, let's add some sound effects and see what it looks like. Thanks for watching the tutorial.